white wines, almost 2,000 cases. Um, quite an accomplishment since we have very few student assistants left here at this point. So um, Brenna Pratt and the other students that were here had to work twice as hard. Eight beautiful wines went into the bottle. This was about 30% of our annual spring bottling totals. All were perfect, a very long day. We had students from the quarter horse unit. We had students from horticulture. So everybody really pitched in. With the COVID-19 concerns, yes, we're maintaining social distancing. Um, everybody is wearing a mask. We're very conscious of that, but it, it really didn't hamper anything. Our consumption numbers are up. Um, online purchases are up, of course, since um, most people are going to the store as much. They're not going out to restaurants to eat. So it does make sense. This year we're bottling about 6,000 cases, 28 different wines at all price levels from all over the state of California, which gives our students experience with grapes and different growing climates. Fresno State Winery was the first winery on a university campus in the country. It is at present much larger than any other winery on a university campus. I'm a graduate of the Department of Viticulture and Enology here under Vince Petrucci. Very, very proud of what I'm seeing, more so than, than normal. Watching these students perform, what they're learning in the classroom and how they apply it, it's very, very rewarding to see that happen. My day started at about 6.30 in the morning. Um, I got here and I was getting tanks ready. I was checking some last numbers. Um, making sure that our lines were ready, uh, everything was clean, and helping the guys with whatever they needed for the bottling truck. We did one white, the Chardonnay, and the other seven were reds. So we had our sergeants in. Two of my favorites are our President's Reserve, Barbera and Syrah, and another one is the Alicante Boucher. I think it's really satisfying to be done with a specific wine that you've worked so long on, getting this hands-on experience, and it's really helping me to learn how to manage people. I want to become a winemaker, so um, in doing that, you really have to be thinking about 100 things at once. You know, you can only learn so much from reading a textbook and having that hands-on time with these wines is what really gives you a holistic approach to winemaking.